Hey everyone, Hans here. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I wanted to make a video that harkens back a little bit to the narcissist and sociopath video that I made to yeah recently. Since when this video comes out. And where to start? What is the psychotic mastermind? That stereotype. It's basically the character that you see in movies very well dressed um, handsome intelligent uh, or just uh, not just a man being handsome it cannot be a woman being beautiful and yeah some way somehow they always fool everyone around them <laughs> Everyone around them just never has a clue and they're just so devilishly clever and cunning in hiding who they really are. But when you think about it, is that true though? There may be out of the 7 billion or so people be those handful of uh, very cunning psychos, psychopaths. Who can indeed hide themselves very well from what their real nature is, if they even have a nature. I don't know how that works. But I think most of them, they're as mundane as the mud you may walk upon when you're going through the forest. Or the concrete in the cities, if that's your preference. Maybe even more so the concrete, since that, uh, there's no life in that either. But yeah. So where to start truly? I think just yeah. The way how it is presented in movies is that being so good at hiding and whatever who they are, what they are, maybe better what they are. Uh, it gives off the audience does the people who will be leaving the cinema when when the movie is over, the perception that oh well, you know a psycho that they actually meet it can be a real psycho. Why not? It's because well psychos hide that stuff very well. They're good at it. And oh boy, you know they they may go into these complete uh, insane uh, rampages. And in the last two decades and longer, we've seen some of that, haven't we, in the West? But where it never was a thing before, or extremely rare. But that's perhaps a topic for another day. Kinda. But I do think that uh, that stereotype is meant that they're so clever at hiding to actually protect the psychos, the psychopaths in civilization around today. How does it protect them? Because people will see a psychopath being a psychopath, you know, being cruel, uh, being self-centered, obsessing over the strangest things uh, with the intention to build up their created image, uh, hurting others in, in very vicious ways. And people will just be like, well, that that's just a bad dude. Or maybe not even that, you know, it's like, oh, he was so nice yesterday. Today, maybe today is just as a, as, a, as a bad day. Therefore, he's being cruel to people, but you'll see tomorrow he'll be his old self again. His real self or what have you. Whereas, no, I think, I think psychopaths reveal themselves all the damn time. And I'll get more into that with narcissists in a bit. When you see someone being cruel, when you see someone being uh, obsessing over the weirdest things with the intention to build up self-image, uh, what could be a good example? Uh, yeah, doing anything that draws attention to them, make them look like the biggest, the best, the strongest, whatever. Um, make them 
Yeah, yeah, or those who actually end the lives of others uh, because they want the attentions of someone specifically. Uh, yeah, there has been that uh, insane story recently where a, a woman killed her husband and her own daughters uh, because her husband was giving her less and less attention than her daughters. That's an example of a psychopath <clears throat> who um, yeah, she's just doing what a psychopath does, right? No empathy, uh, very self-centered, and absolutely, yeah, may you call it insane? I would, I would argue it is insane, of course, but for a psychopath, maybe that's the norm. And here is the thing, though, that's so straight in your face, there is no denying it. But here are here is the thing to me, there must have been signs before that happened. And I bet you, her own daughters, her, her husband, probably have figured, ah, she's just having a bad day. Otherwise, she's always such a great wife, such a great mom. But then, those were actual, what you might call red flags, actual signs that she was is a dangerous uh, creature, I guess. I think it is like that with most of them. You can, or yeah, you should be able to tell. So the stereotype that they are always so clever at hiding it and what have you, no. The answer is really, you need to understand, you know, white people specifically, 99.9% .9 of us, need to understand that we are so incredibly naive and these Hollywood movies and all of that, they prey on our naivety, they, they drive it even further, it give us ideas that what we're seeing is not really the case, whereas yes, we usually are. When we see someone hurting another, that is usually also friendly, yeah, it's the friendly part, that is the theater show, then where the cruelty is the real being, if you will. That or yeah, is the the cruelty is the the actual exhibition of the nature of that person, rather than when they bake you cookies or whatever it's going to be. Now I I think I'm gonna leave it here as far as the stereotype itself. So maybe it wasn't the most interesting video uh, to most of you. I. <laughs> I even think so myself, I've made more interesting videos than this one, but I still wanted to bring it up. I'm going to I'm going to say now, if, if that's uh, all you perhaps are interested in, in the stereotype itself, you can stop listening here. I'm going to go a little bit further though on my personal experiences, just a few. And it is that I've been in contact now with a narcissist for years. And uh, he fooled me. I mean, I have to admit that. But in the wake of him exposing himself, when I did find out, there has been many people who have uh, who have come out as well. Uh, certainly, come to me, as I have come to them, and we put our heads together and we realized. We were seeing it all along, for a long time. But we just kept saying to ourselves, and you know, not talking about a psychopath here, I think, but a narcissist. So someone who, uh, you know, doesn't feel any empathy, is uh, a stunted emotions at best, if any. And everything needs to revolve around the narcissist in question, right? Plus the narcissist doesn't have a person personality but pretends to have one. And they, their personalities that they hold up, yeah. You yeah, know, that's, that's something for later. Um, so yeah, we put our heads together and we noticed that we were seeing it all the time. Uh, signs of verbal abuse. Mm, 
yeah, verbal abuse was a common one, making increasingly more demands, uh, being unempathic uh, or antipathic, uh, I suppose it was in truth. Um, very disrespectful towards uh, anyone, not them. <laughs> and uh, you may want to know about a few examples. That may come in the future, for those who are interested. Not yet. We're not done talking about all the things that we are discovering, because it has been a process. Like almost, uh, it's been a week or two now, or three weeks? I think three weeks already. Wow, time is fleeting by. But yeah, about three weeks. And every single day almost, we come together and we have, a, you know, me and, and good people, we have a good chats, we talk about all kinds of fun stuff, uh, we catch up on things, we're taking a, a breath of fresh air in the wake of not being under this vile influence anymore. Because that's also something we realized is that uh, we've, we all feel better. It's like, it's like a parasite that was stuck in our skin and was injecting its venom into us and the venom wasn't deadly necessarily but it made us slower, it made us drowsy, it uh, uh, lethargic, lethargic, I think made us feel lethargic and we're actually getting out of that, many of us, well all of us really and in the wake of having more energy, feeling more upbeat because now we're all, you know, now it's all people that are trustworthy and, and good-hearted. We discover day by day more and more things when we realize, oh, remember when he said this, remember when he did that, etc, etc, etc. And you'd be amazed, some of, I suppose. It's a pity that I cannot prove all of it. Uh, but there will be some written proof for people that are interested too. That is a promise. We by no means are going to let any anyone who has the capacity to lie uh, and be so devilishly deceitful, if you will. And I mean devilish as in vile, disgusting. There's no religious connotation to it. <clears throat> that um, we all agree that we are very uncomfortable with one last thing in the wake of us all feeling better and that is that this character this creature if you will will just be able to walk away just be able to walk away and do this to someone else That is not happening. That is absolutely not happening. Not on my watch and not on the watch of those other people. There will be a calling out. And in the hopes that with what little we can do, word goes around and that that's is doing something that is, I believe, important for everyone who is actually just white positive in general. There's, uh, I mean, yes, I come from what you might call the the, the sphere, or the, the sub-sphere of, of standing up for our ancestry, our old gods, nothing, uh, nothing Abrahamic or any of that, which is just white noir to me. Well, it just is. But we are not letting anyone pray, be preyed upon of our people again, if, in as far as our reach goes. Can we 100% stop it? I dread that we cannot. But, at the very least, and who knows how it will go in the future, that someone will remember, and someone will heed our warning, and they'll bump into that character face to face. And that confrontation may be, make it possible that, mm, that the danger this character poses, this creature poses, will be 
uh, nullified, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what an, a, a, a good term would be. But that this figure cannot hurt anyone else ever again. Doesn't mean, yeah. And that'd be that. Hmm. Um, is there something more to it? Yeah, I'm I'm speaking in fakes. I know. It's uh, <laughs> and um, yeah. For now, I don't want to go into it particularly much deeper into it. Now, maybe it's worthwhile saying though, for me that that figure beyond looking out for others, uh, which is something that we all should do. So. I hope people can appreciate that. It's not just me, it's many other good people who say, no, we're gonna take our time out of our days to ensure that uh, the monsters among us, even though they look a lot like us physically, we are not going to let them roam free anymore. That will stop. And I hope that inspires others to do the same and to look out to look out, try to recognize where they see or hear something that just is off. And then that has to be enough, I guess, for now. We'll see uh, how we'll do it in the future or what the next generations will do with this information. Hopefully a lot of good. Uh, hmm, was there something else that I wanted to bring up? Oh, well, I don't want to be all... Mm, what do they say that we call that in English? A Debbie Downer or something? <laughs> That's uh, I don't know, it always makes me smile. It's such a funny way of putting it, but yeah. I uh, always like to at least have a few good elements to every video. That is, people can walk away and be like, oh yeah, that's... Uh, that put... Uh, that lifted up my spirits a little. I want to offer that to people, right? I think I've always succeeded in that all, to at least some extent, so um, let's see. Yeah, it's like I said, a lot of people now coming together, realizing they've been had, but overcoming it. There is, I was, at first I was concerned uh, that many people would have a moment of disillusion. It's like, oh man, yet another group that tries something and it's it's all going, you know, it's all gone to the sharks again. Will it ever end? I'm out of here. Or whatever. I've seen it happen before. Totally fine, good people who want to do the right thing, who want to be surrounded by good people. By other good people. You know, uh, standing up for white well-being. You know, bringing back the old ways. In the sense that bringing it back as in reintroducing a renaissance if you will but a renaissance this time that will last and won't be crushed by a, a tyrannical uh, cabal at the top of, of civilization uh, I'm not saying society but civilization so they can have another few hundred years of tyranny no um, and you know they, they just gave up and left in the wake of being what they considered was a betrayal or was just too many uh, unpleasant personalities or you know again these sociopaths and narcissists and, and I have yet to come across an actual psychopath I think it's sometimes a bit difficult to keep them, uh, separated from one another but yeah just giving up and thinking yeah I'm, I'm the last one that cares I was afraid that was going to happen again in a way and it didn't every everyone actually uh, became more resilient in the wake of this considers this a lesson a life lesson and it is for me included i'm not holding myself up uh, yeah, some mm, i've had some people who talk to me and they try to hold me up as someone who is flawless no but i overcome my flaws and that is perhaps, that is what I have to remind them of. What they see in me is not someone who is flawless, but someone that will overcome his flaws once, well, when I realize I have them. It's, um, 
yeah, my naivety, which is, you know, it's just part of being a white man. I do my best to overcome it. And it gets the better of me sometimes, but that doesn't stop me from pushing forward and keeping trying to do the right thing, keeping an eye on you know, that, that trait in me. And there are many other good people who are decided to do the same thing. Not, ne not necessarily because of me, but because they have a good, uh, a good heart in their chest. I think that's what I want to leave the video with for today. That if you're one of those people who was, uh, who is a little bit more aware, I guess, of what I've been up to in the last few, in the last year, at minimum, and the last few years, for those who know me even better than that. Hans is always going to keep doing what he's doing and there is many good other good people out there who are also going to do keep doing what they're doing in terms of being you know doing acting justly acting for white well-being acting uh, for for the revival the true revival of the European spirit and to have it stay this time because the renaissances aren't new they aren't new. There has been a few actually, not even just the one in Italy. Uh, was it the 1600s? No, no, no. It has been around more often. Every time it was crushed. This time we are wiser to it though. We have a lot of information that our ancestors didn't at the time. And at the very least we'll make, uh, well, we'll make new mistakes. <laughs> Can we do that at least? But things are looking well, and whatever comes our way, whatever obstacle presents itself, be that in the form of the sinister minded that sneak in uh, for themselves or just to cause harm, you're gonna be sent packing. They will be invited to leave. That's also the fun part, by the way. Uh, <laughs> the recent personal experiences, yes, they left on their own because they realized that the game was up, that their little game was up, or that his little game was up. Gonna desperately try to cling to his game though, because that's all, all there is to him, it, whatever. But yeah, it's... Uh he don't screwed up. <laughs> what was the main and that is actually the funny one to me his biggest mistake was probably thinking that uh, like in an Abrahamic sphere you can just have your little sub cult that you can get out of all those who slavishly follow a book uh, a priest whatever it's going to be he thought he was going to pull the same in, in the sphere of those who care about their ancestry and he fell flat on his face <laughs> And it's not only going to stop there, because like uh, heal, you know, cult members, if you will, who followed narcissists in the past, and they realized that something was off, and for them, all in life is just to get out of it and get as far away as possible. No, no, we are healing. We're healing quickly, and then we're going to. Hmm, I shall one put it properly. We are going to call the anti-white out for what he or she is. Yeah. We're going to <clears throat> warn as many of our people as possible. And hopefully they in turn will spread the word themselves. As far as new projects go, some projects that have been going on will probably die as far as I'm aware. At least, if not in the short run, in the long run. Don't fret. Actually, be encouraged because that just opens up more space now for um, more projects to come. We have shown that we, you know, as a group, the group that I'm part of, or the several groups I should say that I'm part of, have shown to themselves that we did a lot of good uh, with a very vile influence that 
cast a shadow over everything we've done. And we've helped lives. We've saved people from doing terrible things in themselves. We have, uh, we have given a man who passed away uh, a few fine, you know, a final good two or three weeks of his life. We have made, you know, beautiful art was made, and will continue to be made. Stories have been told and will continue to be told. Stories have been written, friendships have been made, and there's going to be more of that. This time without that vile influence. It's just a bit of a, a time that we need to pick ourselves up. Kind of, we're going to, yeah, there's going to be a, a rearrangement of how our processes are going to work. And there's a lot of reach out now to make sure that everyone who isn't quite aware of what transpired yet will will come to uh, yeah make one's own conclusions and either stay or go but predominantly right now everyone everyone has stayed and everyone uh, is willing to sink his or her teeth in even further in uh, in the meat that is our history and our spirituality we become stronger and wiser through this lesson <laughs> that we've all had to face now we're gonna do it with a lighter heart than we've ever done I think it's gonna be the next year now or let's say the next 12 months from now it's gonna be very interesting just you know stay around and hold on to hope and do the right thing yourself there's gonna come a point maybe that we're gonna ask we're gonna do a, a reach out and uh, see how quick everything can grow when there aren't people who are shunning or uh, misrepresenting or causing infighting around. Yeah, how about that? Is that a hopeful one to end with? <laughs> oh man, I've been going out of another half hour. I want to stick to 15 minutes, but damn, I'm getting, uh, getting more and more talkative it seems. But for now, yeah, you all have a good one, and uh, it's gonna be a bright future, we'll, you'll see. <laughs>